Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halen Vintage and I wanted to go over the um, haul that I picked up, that Christmas haul from, if you've seen any of the video, I was live um, trying to give you guys a feel of how overwhelming this basement was. The lady was super nice though. I had actually gone to her house to pick up this little Noel set. Let me just kind of, it was a, it's a Tilso, but it's a harder one to find. Um, and it's got like the little kids on it. So it was in good shape. It still has its Tilso little sticker on it. So there's the N. Um, the E. Super cute. I don't want to drop them. And the E. We're spelling out Noel, right? The O. And the L. So this was originally why I had gone out there. She said she only wanted $20 for it. Um, so I had drove out there because I'd been looking for a Noel. I did not want to pay you know, hundreds of dollars for one. So I was super happy with that one. And that was the reason, that's what got me to the house. That and um, I had seen that she had the one Santa mug, but um, I still took the one, but she wasn't sure if she had any more or not. But so I did grab the one Santa mug. And then I went down into the basement and it was just, Shiny, bright ornaments everywhere. The lady was an active collector of anything shiny, bright. And anything that was shiny, bright, she really, she must have had an attachment to it because, um, I mean, you know, she was up, those were priced pretty high. But other, other, all the other stuff was priced fairly reasonable. So at, when I asked her about a shi box of shiny brights and she said 40, I knew we were just going to ask for stuff other than shiny bright ornaments. So I did get five of these little Santas. Well, I got three that were like this. I mean, they have some condition issues, but they were, um, these were about the three best the best of the ones I mean there was a whole crate if you look in the video there was a whole tub just of Santa's so I did grab I took five so I took these three um I mean you know he has his belt but it's taped on they have their stands they're all a little bit different I didn't notice that he his butt was a little bit squished in but I'm thinking I can get that out but at least they all had their stands. Their faces were fairly well. They all had their belts. So I did grab these three. And then I grabbed this one. I don't know if he's a rushed in. He has that rushed in face. But he was in, you know, good condition. There's no tags or anything on him. But he was super great grabbed him and then i did grab this one because i thought he had a really nice face so those were the five santas that i grabbed out of probably hundreds i mean the bin was literally full so then um over in that same area like i said i knew not to ask for anything shiny bright because it just wasn't <laughs> She didn't, I don't think she wanted to let go of those ornaments. And the basement was full of ornaments. So I did grab two boxes of these pink bell jewel brights. They're in great shape. So I do have two of those. Decor Novelties, Whitman, Massachusetts. Um, it's great that they're in the box and just even the the coloring of the box with that pink and green is just absolutely fabulous. So two boxes of those. I 
I did grab this um, Santa reindeer lawn. This was made in Taiwan. So it has Santa. I, they're probably not in order, but all eight deer are here. There is some condition issues on like their antlers. If you kind of look like his antler is broke, kind of like right here. Um, but I mean, you can't really tell unless you're like looking up at him. So we have Donner Blitzen. And we have Prancer and Vixen. And he's got condition right there a little bit. But still, I mean, unless you're really like looking. Dasher and Dancer. Their antlers look good. And then Comet and Cupid. And... Um, I think he's, he's got it missing right there, maybe. But I mean, you can't, you can't really tell because at least they still have antlers. So super great. I mean, and these were yard stakes for outside. So, and then, um, I know I showed you Santa, but Santa's got a really good face. He's super great. So this would actually be like probably... I think this is like 16 inches and each one of the deer are 12. So space wise, you would need at least, you know, six feet to put this out. And then if you put some lights through it, I just think that's absolutely fabulous. So if you had like a flower bed or something, this would be super cute in there. So I got that. I did grab another Noel, but it was kind of a Noel that was put together. So the O, and I don't, I don't think it was originally made this way, because I believe this is what Lipper Man made this Noel. Let me grab it. It's the nice big chunky block letters. So we have the, so the N, and then the, the N is in red but it has holes on the bottom. The O is that Lipper Man. Um, there is like one little, it looks like it's just a, a glaze chip there, but. So N and the O. And then the E is in red. And then of course, the L is that like Lipper Man style L. It would go that way. I think it goes that way. So that's kind of fun. Let me set these back down. So we got Noel. I got two Noel. That's a fun one. And then I got um, these West Germany, the foil ornaments. So I did get five boxes of these. So there's this beautiful, they still have their boxes and I don't know if, it looks like the ornaments have never been out of the box. Maybe the tree toppers have been, but not the ornaments. So this beautiful purple and gold um, tree topper. Um, no, this one is still taped. This one is still taped, so no, this one has not been out of the box. So there's that one. And I can show you what, because I have this other one, this red. This box is open. Whether it's been out of the box, I have no idea. But they are these really beautiful, like the Atomic Star all in the foil, just really well made. So I have the one in the purple and the gold, and then the one in the red, green, and gold. 
And these are all just right, they're handcrafted West Germany up here. So just really beautiful. Made in West Germany. They don't really have a name on them. So I got the two toppers in the purple and in the red and green. And then I grabbed the ornaments. Now these are all still taped, never been out of the box. So there are these, I grabbed three boxes of these. I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. You know, that atomic star, mid-century modern, just really great. And these all just say handcrafted in West Germany. Just really beautiful. All boxes are still sealed. The other topper I did grab um, was just this Twilight Tree Star topper. Um, I don't think it's ever been used. It still has the pink tag on it. Just that regular Starlight Tree topper. Um, you know, my, my daughter was like, that's the one grandma used to have on the top of her tree. So I don't know if she's going to use this tree topper or what, but I don't think it's ever been used. So I grabbed that one. Still new in box. The other tree topper I grabbed, this was, this was a shiny bright. The box is pretty demolished on it, but she does have her box. Um, she is pink and would just look absolutely fabulous with the um, those pink ornaments. She's got pink lights that she's holding, and she's got pink on the inside. She does work. She's all just like, her netting is all really pink. So she would just look absolutely fabulous with these jewel brights and all that pink. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? So she's just, she's just wonderful. She does work. I think I've said that, but super great. She's giving you that side eye. Um, so she is a 10 light little shiny bright ornament. Um, she has all of her lights. She works fabulous. And then I got, I thought these were very interesting. This box does not belong to them. This says American made glass ornaments. These are plastic, but, um, I kept looking, you know, I could barely find anything on them and come to find out these are shiny bright. Um, I will post a picture in here of how I figured out they were shiny bright. I looked everywhere and everywhere and I finally found them um, to be shiny bright. Somebody's got a picture of them posted. All of their little, you know, toppers that say shiny bright are gone, but I have other shiny bright ornaments that I'm going to replace to put, um, that these are shiny bright ornaments. Super great. I mean, I just love the jewel tone on them. I like that they were plastic, but who would know that? I mean, they're just got this like fabulous gold and all these jeweled colors, just super, super great. So I did get six of those. Um, like I said, they're in this box, but this box does not belong to them. I think she just had ornaments and drawers and drawers, and I think they just sat in there, so she just left them in there. So I grabbed those. I grabbed, um, it's funny, this says Crowley's on there. I used to be a window display person for Crowley's, and I helped open their stores back in the early 90s, no, 80s, back in the late 80s. <laughs> oh, I did all the mannequins, did everything. Home departments was one of my store, one of my areas. So I grabbed these two little um, towels. I just thought they were super cute. This one said Merry Christmas on it. And this one says New Year's. 
two little a Santa and a snowman. I just thought these were super cute. Um, they are Canon. Probably never used, probably, well, wherever she bought them, old hand towels. They had a tag on them. So she probably picked them up at a garage sale or church sale or something. Somebody probably got them as a gift. Who knows? I probably packaged them for them back, back in the day. <laughs> I grabbed this little, well, my daughter grabbed this little. She wanted this little boutonniere. She's like, I've never seen anything like that. And it's in that plastic. It says season's greetings on it. Um, just super fun. Just something you normally don't see. I don't know if you guys can see that through that plastic. I can't. It's probably never been opened. The box is a little crushed, but yeah, I don't think I can get it. I would have to destroy the box to get it out of there. Wait, let's see. Let's see if we can at least just get the vellum off the top so you can see it a little bit better. It does have like a little pin on the back. Yeah. Remember we used to, I mean, when I was little, you know, grandma used to buy these for your, your grandparents and they would wear them on their coats. Just so proud. Just, I think that's probably why my daughter bought it. Probably reminded her of her grandmother or why she, why she threw it in the box. So you get those nostalgic feelings and then you start buying stuff because it's more nostalgic to you than anything. So, um, um I think the only thing that's left in this box, <laughs> Addie kept picking up little ornaments and the lady was like giving them to her. And of course they're all pink. She picked up this little, this little pink one with, it's got like a little angel and stuff in the center of it. I don't know if somebody made it. Oh, it's got kind of like pins through this. I'm like, it's poking me. All the pins are like just through this little piece of cork that like is poking you when you hold it. So don't, you shouldn't, they should probably put something on the back of that. So it was made, but it's super cute. I, I'm sure she picked it up because it was pink. And then she picked up these little bells. I mean, just there was stuff like this all over, all over it. And then I picked up, she got thrown in. I think she's another little topper, just a little angel. She's kind of cute. I mean, she's, well, she's still in pretty good shape. She's just got a little wrinkle here, but she's super cute. Grabbed her and then of course, trees. She had trees, like I have never seen so many ceramic trees in one area in my entire life. It was just crazy. And then her prices on the trees were really well. So you have to buy a couple of them, you know. I mean, I didn't want any trees, but I ended up buying three trees. So I got this blue and white one. It's missing its pegs, but I mean, those you can buy um, online. So super great condition. It does have a blue stand. This one is already spoken for. Somebody wanted me to pick them up a blue and white tree. So here it is. So I'm super excited that I could find this and replacing the little, I mean, it's got half of them on here is not a big deal. So super happy with that. I did grab this little iridescent one. Just a little iridescent one. There are, um, there's a little baggie of, and I have some, so I'm sure I have enough to fill this tree. So that one I'll probably just resell. And then for myself, <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on the floor, I don't want it don't want it to fall. That would be horrible. Because I have a little iridescent like that last one, 
but I'm going to replace it with this one. I just loved the gold on here. I have like, like five little ceramic trees. So I have like a tall, um, probably like a two foot green one. Then I have the one that was my mom's, the green one. And then I have just a smaller, probably, I don't know, eight inch little tree that, so those three go over there. And then I'll have this white one. And then I have a really small white one. And that's, that's more than enough trees for me. But I really loved the gold on here. So I grabbed this one for myself and then I'm going to sell, like I said, I have one that's like that iridescent. So, I mean, you just can't resist buying trees. It's like crazy. I mean, they were everywhere. I couldn't believe she had this beautiful lava tree. Oh, white with just this gold draping down. It was just absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, I was trying to weed through the items that I felt um, she would give me a decent price on that um, were a little bit harder things, you know, that I haven't really seen other than the trees. I think the trees, you know, it's kind of a little bit saturated anymore. People are still looking for them, but um, not like they were. But things that were, you know, like I've never seen these ornaments before. I've never really come across jewel bright ornaments before. And, you know, I went there for the Noel. And it's absolutely gorgeous little Noel that's a little bit different. So I was very pleased with all the items that I got. I spent like $200. Um, so I was happy with that price. I thought she was very fair on the stuff, you know, that I was grabbing for my $200. And with that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for helping my channel grow. And look out for some of these items in live sales that are coming up because I'm bringing them for you, right? So with that, have a great night, everyone. Stay retro, my friends. Bye.